Coming to you live from the Scuba Shack Fishbowl, this is another edition of Scuba Shack TV. first step in oxygen cleaning a tank is to remove the tank valve from the tank. The next step is to visually inspect the interior of the tank for any contaminants, corrosion, or rust. The tank is first cleaned using a degreasing agent such as Simple Green. Next, the tank is filled with water. The tank is then shaken and rolled to ensure all the interior surfaces are cleaned by the degreasing agent. The degreasing agent is poured from the tank and the tank is then rinsed with fresh water. Boiled distilled water is used for the final rinse of the tank. Distilled water is used because of the lack of contaminants. Finally, isopropyl alcohol is used to assist in the drying process after the tank has been emptied. Just like the degreasing process, the tank is shaken and rolled to ensure all of the interior surfaces are touched by the distilled water and isopropyl alcohol. The tank is then placed upon a dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes. A second 
interior visual inspection is conducted using ultraviolet light to look for any remaining contaminants. The first step in disassembling the valve is to remove the neck o-ring and the o-ring which seals the regulator to the tank. Next, the valve handle is removed. The bonnet nut and spindle are removed next. Using the spindle as a wrench, the gate valve is now removed. Using distilled white vinegar to remove any corrosion, the valve parts are placed in a vibrating cleaner. A degreasing bath is then prepared. In this case, we're using simple green again. Once the vibration cycle is completed, the parts are then placed in the degreasing bath. Using a brush, all the valve parts are now scrubbed to ensure any contaminants are removed. A final rinse of the parts is conducted in a fresh water bath. All valve parts are dried with high pressure air prior to reassembly. A special oxygen compatible lubricant is used during the assembly process.
For tanks using enriched air, only O-rings made out of oxygen compatible materials such as Viton should be used. The final step in the process is reattaching the valve to the tank and affixing the visual inspection sticker and oxygen cleaned label. 